This is an important day in the life of the university, a day to celebrate the success of our graduates. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this ceremony and to formally declare this congregation of the university open. Please be seated. Vice Chancellor, my university executive board colleagues, heads of school, and members of the University of Portsmouth community, colleagues, distinguished guests, graduates, parents, family, and friends. I'm delighted to be here with you today on this important occasion in our graduates' lives and careers. To each of you, I offer my congratulations. What you have achieved in completing a degree qualification is a significant educational accomplishment. Regardless of your chosen field of study, graduation signifies the culmination of several years of hard work on your part. And while today is a celebration of your efforts, I might also add that it is a time for us to thank our academic and professional staff who have been absolutely committed to helping you achieve your learning goals. Finally, I thank the family and friends employers, colleagues, and mentors who've also played an important role in the success of each graduate. You can all be justly proud of your efforts. At this juncture, I, I think it's appropriate that you, our graduates, should stand up and with a warm round of applause, join me in thanking your family and friends who are here today. So please stand up. I think we can make a little bit more noise and appreciate them. Thank you. That was wonderful. While this is a day of celebration, it's also an occasion that represents a point of departure from studying at the University of Portsmouth to a new stage where you have the opportunity to make your mark in the community, whether that is at a local, regional, or indeed global level. The university has endeavored to instill in you a body of knowledge and a set of qualities that will, that will prepare you for your future life. However, the true value of your University of Portsmouth education lies in how you transfer this knowledge for the greater good of your communities. On that note, allow me to reflect on the importance of this body of knowledge and the value of a university education to connect more directly and boldly with the large questions of our time. We live in times of great economic, political, and cultural change. And the challenge today is to take the best of our insights, experiences, and knowledge and turn them into actions in order to improve people's lives and prospects. And in response to these prevailing pressures of our times, let me remind you about the purpose of higher education. It is about self-fulfillment, about personal development, and the pursuit of knowledge as an end in itself, the provision of skills of critical analysis and independent thought to support full participation in civil society. But it's also about the preparation for leaders for diverse global environments and supporting a highly productive and professional labor force. More importantly, these sentiments, I believe, must be contextualized against the backdrop of globalization and the internationalization of education. This has inevitably meant the significant movement of students, academics, and programs across national and cultural boundaries, rendering the world a mere global village. At 23 years of age this year, the University of Portsmouth is one of the top 50 of the world's top 100 universities under 50 years of age, according to the Times Higher Education Rankings. In addition, we're amongst the top 2% of universities worldwide, according to the Times Higher Education Rankings. And your university is on the move with the Telegraph newspaper reporting in April that we are one of five universities in the UK to watch. These are remarkable achievements for such a young university, 
and we are very proud of, and we hope that you are too. We at the university remain aspirational, energetic, and committed to change and success, ensuring an enduring partnership with each one of you. And there's little doubt that the knowledge, skills, and values that you have developed during your University of Portsmouth studies will help you become leaders within your community into the future. We want you to be successful because your successes and achievements will reflect well upon your university. And of course, the success of your university reflects well on you. I urge you to use your new credentials from your university to good effect. We live, as I said earlier, in particularly unsettling times where the world is facing problems of enormous gravity, but we also inhabit a planet where there is an unprecedented connection between peoples. More than at any other epoch, we are interdependent on people we have never encountered. The colossal issues and problems we face, economic, environmental, religious, and political, are global in their scope. They have no hope of being solved unless people once distant come together and cooperate in ways they have not done before. As our most recent graduates, you will undoubtedly bring a unique perspective to these issues and their impact on our communities. I have no doubt that it is amongst our newest graduates that the solutions to some of our most challenging and intractable problems will be found. As Drew Faust, the president of Harvard University, recently observed, he said, higher learning can offer individuals and societies a depth and breadth of vision absent from the inevitably myopic present. Human beings need meaning, understanding, and perspective, as well as jobs. The question, he said, should not be whether we can afford to believe in such purposes in these times, but whether we can afford not to. As we celebrate your achievements, we're also looking to the future and the phenomenal potential you have to benefit your communities. Your study has empowered you to cultivate strong roots to allow you to maintain links with local issues and struggles whilst realizing that these are inextricably linked to global imperatives. Together, we're on the way to shaping the future. Futures are forged by the choices we make today and the way we decide to transfer the knowledge that we have acquired and to make our own ripples throughout the world. Today is just the beginning of a lifelong relationship with your university as members of an international community of Portsmouth graduates. Please make use of our excellent alumni association and keep in touch as you continue your journey through life. Continue to live by the values of your university in all that you do. Be responsible, be open, be ambitious, but above all else, be passionate in all that you do. Never settle for second best. It's an honor for me to address you on a day in which you celebrate one of life's great milestones. Your family and friends have supported your ambition, drive, and focus. I wish you every success and encourage you to be bold and give back to the very communities that have not only sustained you, but have enabled you to shape a better future for all of us. Thank you. For the benefit of our guests, let me just uh, tell you what's gonna happen next. Um, while we're getting all the graduates assembled to, uh, to come on stage, um, the Vice Chancellor and, and the Dean from the faculty um, will be upstanding here for, to be able to shake hands with each of the, the graduates as they come, come across. Just before we do that, I will also be reading out some very important words to which our Vice Chancellor will respond, which will uh, make, this, um, ma make the, the transition from graduates to graduates possible. So let me begin with those words. I certify that all those presented at this ceremony have successfully completed their studies and have satisfied all the conditions and requirements of the university. By the authority of the university, I confirm that all those who are duly qualified are hereby admitted to the awards for which they are presented.
Vice-Chancellor, I present to you the following successful candidates for the award of Bachelor of Honours, International Development Studies, Norman Gray. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Forensic Psychology, Psychology Louise Ashworth. Mark Baker. With first class, Hannah Brock. With first class, Sarah Collier. Gracie Cooper. Kay Cooper. <laughs> Jessica Day. <laughs> Elliot Giles. <laughs> Joseph Gisby. <laughs> Adam Hanger. With first class, Amelia Hart. <laughs> Nadine Hawkins de Namur. <laughs> With first class, Cassie Hayter. <laughs> Erin Horton. Jessica Hothersall. <laughs> Terry Newton. <laughs> Sean Porter. <laughs> Panthea Richardson. <laughs> Josh Roberts. With first class, Bethany Searle. <laughs> Sneha Suresh. <laughs> Suman Varadharaja. <laughs> With first class, Oliver Waddup. Seren Wells. <laughs> Rebecca Woods. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Daniela Allen. <laughs> Mason Andrews. <laughs> Heidi Armstrong. With first class, Kiran Orjla. <laughs> With first class, Trudy Baker. <laughs> Emily Ballinger. <laughs> Shanti Bhagawati. Jennifer Boyce. <laughs> Lewis Broad. <laughs> Joshua Butler. <laughs> Emily Cheeseman. <laughs> With first class, Sarah Chuchler. With first class, Catherine Clark. 
with first class Sophie Coombs. Ed Crouch. Luke Dawson. Rachel Denya. Thomas Doherty. Rachel Donnellion. Sally Doyle. Maria Elliott. Tom Everest. Amy Ferry. Anastasia Finch. Adam Foley. Emma Gaywood. Matthew Giles. Victoria Gill. Rebecca Gregan. Lisa Haynes. Cassidy Hall. Thomas Hamilton. Fergus Harding. Jesse Harley. Anthony Heather. Claudia Hicken. Joe Hill. Laura Johnson. Petros Kanakaris. With first class Georgina Kiddy. Caroline Larkins. Rebecca Lever. With first class Thomas Lockhart. Leanne Lachlan. Peaches Lowe. Catherine McIntosh. With first class Sarah Maitland. Elise Morn. Charlotte McKenna. With first class, Danielle McLaren. With first class, Hayley Mercer. With first class, Julia Mitchell. With first class, Shakiba Mogadam. With Beth Northam. With first class, Jasmine O'Brien. Chloe O'Toole. Shima Ogundipe Hogan. Sarah Owens. With first class Lauren Painter. Suhu 
Hui Pan. Anu Pandey. Karishma Patel. Priya Patel. Vrutika Patel. Alex Price. Kelly Proctor. Mariam Rahim. With first class, Georgian Randall. With first class, Ellie Rams. Jake Roberts. Gavin Rolls. Meg Ruddy. Jazz Ruttle. Michael Saber. Charlotte Sandy. Laura Sudmak. Charlotte Skilton. Charlotte Smart. With first class, Louise Spaven. With first class, Kirsty Spencer. Alex Spiller. Tom Stockley. With first class, Tom Sullivan. With first class, Afsara Tasnim. With first class, Amy True. With first class, Amy Turner. With first class, Jessica Wallace. With first class, Hannah Watkins. Ariana Weldon. George Wellsby. With first class, Sophie Wig. Nicola Williams. Alice Young. Veronica Zanetu. Masters of Science in Applied Psychology of Intellectual Disabilities, Pauline Ball. Emmanuel Darmanin. Masters of Science in Child Forensic Studies, Psychology and Law, Coral Bogle Virtue. Talent Nayat Sanza. John O'Sullivan. With distinction, Jennifer Parsons. Yeah. 
Masters of Science in Forensic Psychology. With distinction, Bethan Alcock. <laughs> Joseph Cassidy. <laughs> Lisa Croydon Miles. <laughs> Wilson Dang. <laughs> Lisa Fogone. With distinction, Katie Henson. With distinction, Kathy Hughes. Joanna Jones. Joanna Morrison. Jocinta Murphy. With distinction, Andrew Miles Wright. <laughs> Sophie Neal. <laughs> With distinction, Hannah Reynolds. <laughs> Jade Richardson. <laughs> Andrea Vieira. Craig White. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy. For a programme of research in introducing risk assessment to the Maltese Probation Service, Chantal Avellino. For a programme of research in undercover and collective interviewing to detect deception, Shima Jundi. <laughs> For a programme of research in I Spy a Liar, the effect of deception on fixation-based measures of memory, Elsa Millen. For a programme of research in No Safety in Numbers, detecting deception using a collective interviewing approach, Zara Vernon. Vice Chancellor. I present to you the following successful candidates for the award of Diploma of Higher Education in Operating Department Practice, Registered Operating Department Practitioner, David Allen. Charlotte Alvarez. Henry Barfoot. Stephanie Dare. <laughs> Laura Disley. <laughs> Margaret Edwards. <laughs> Catherine Gates. <laughs> Charlotte. Grout. Robert House. Yeah! Ramona Kraus. Brinley Mackay. With distinction, Neil Owen. Vicky Victor.
for the Foundation Degree of Science in Paramedic Science, Matthew Ansell. <laughs> Henry Baines. <laughs> Thomas Bird. <laughs> Lee Brown. Danielle Kahn. Matthew Cook. Charlotte Flynn. Sky Hatchard. With distinction, Samuel Heenan. Patrick Yadzinski. With distinction, Laura Jones. With distinction, Claire King. Alice Mason. Dwayne McKenzie. Karen McNabb. Alexander Palmer. Jonathan Phillips. Emma Robinson. Hannah Saunders. With distinction, Jennifer Stone. With distinction, Amy Tanner. Benjamin Wall. Carl Williamson. For the Foundation Degree of Science in Speech, Language and Communication Science, Shelby Anison. Yeah. Alex Bambra. Yeah. Lucy Beasley. Yeah. Donna Brockway. Carissa Carroll. <laughs> Stephanie Collin. <laughs> With distinction, Jodie Edwards. <laughs> Jessica Fletcher. <laughs> With distinction, Lisa Heffernan. <laughs> Hannah Jones. <laughs> Chloe Jordan. <laughs> Hannah Leadham. <laughs> With distinction, Nicola Martin. With distinction, Rachel McNaught. With distinction, Rosie O'Hay. Rachel Parry. Nicole Platts Weston. With distinction, Jennifer Pullinger. With distinction, Kylie Louise Ty.
for the Bachelor of Science in Diagnostic Radiography with first class Bethany Adkins. <laughs> Nicola Ball. <laughs> with first class Ellen Barter. <laughs> Carla Bishop. <laughs> Trudy Braxton. With first class, Laura Briley. Grant Brody. With first class, Jordan Cheshire. Becky Craig. James Dimmant. With first class, Richard Evans. <laughs> Molly Froggart. <laughs> Stephanie Gow. <laughs> Samuel Harper. <laughs> Emma Holford. Grant. <laughs> Kelly Johnston. <laughs> John Knight. <laughs> Shauna Lipton. <laughs> With first class. Chloe Little. With first class, Heidi Matthews. Anjum Merali. Alice Mitchell. Alison Moore. First class, Joseph Morris. Bronwyn Murray. Guy Newt. Owen O'Leary. Abigail Perrins. <laughs> Lewis Pollard. <laughs> Jacqueline Preston. <laughs> With first class, Laura Rowlinson. With first class, Hannah Spittle. For the Bachelor of Science in Health Science, Oscar Chan. Barbara Dalmini. For the Bachelor of Science in Human Communication Science, with first class, Josephine Adner. <laughs> Ellie Clements. <laughs> Stephanie Cook. <laughs> Marie. Devlin. <laughs> 
Megan Gray. Jessica Hunt. With first class, Karen Latham. Robert Luca. Niasha Matthew. With first class, Rebecca Rendell. Rebecca Robinson. With first class, Bethan Scrivens. Kiranjeet Saroy. First class, Helen Worrell. For the Bachelor of Science in Human Physiology, Georgia Andrews. Paul Cooper. With first class, Rebecca Ellis. Sarah Everett Wood. <laughs> Susanna Harmon. <laughs> With first class, Joe Hookie. <laughs> Praise Jacob. <laughs> Agipi K. Martins. With first class, Adana Ofondu. KG Ojo. Ligita Ramaskaiti. Niall Wadham. Natalie Zia. <laughs> For the BSc on Human Physiology, Grover Cleveland Willis IV. <laughs> For the Bachelor of Science in Social Studies, Anita Anongu. <laughs> Kelly Malloy. <laughs> For the Bachelor of Science in Social Work, Mark Adams. Eloise Ball. Amy Bickle. With first class, Claire Blake. Amal Carley. With first class, Abigail Clare. With first class, Jane Cochran. Sharice Cummings. With first class, Natasha De La Perelle. With first class, Gemma Gregory. <laughs> Lauren Guest.
Stacey Ives. With first class, Jasmine James. Caroline Kasukumya. With first class, Roxanne Watcho. Zoe Maltby. Robin McCarthy. Shana McDonald. With first class, Debs Morgan Jones. Pamela Nakanza. Edward Parker. Rebecca Pearson. With first class, Nicola Perryman. Lauren Rose. With first class, Kirsty Sampson. Rebecca Sanderson. Emma Shaw. With first class, Megan Vaughan. Michelle Walker. Holly Ware. For the Bachelor of Science in Therapeutic Radiography, with first class, Adam Baxter. With first class, Jessica DeLodlo. With first class, Emily Griffiths. Sasha Hall. Hayley Hansen. <laughs> Vanessa Richards. <laughs> Karina Staden. <laughs> With first class, Kerry Streetfield. Hannah Wapshop. <laughs> For the Master of Science in Social Work, Tom Barrow. <laughs> Marvelous Trebisa. <laughs> With distinction, Laura Dinning. Gabrielle Downer. Grace Durden. Edith Jaboku. Emma Godson. Lauren Hickey. Jonathan Hopley. Robin Lindsay. Louise O'Brien. Laura Owusu Afari.
Freya Savage. Daria Taylor. Christine William. Angel Williams. For the professional doctorate in health science, for an approved topic of professional research and development in Does the use of adjunct histopathological techniques to enhance lymph node yield improve tumor staging in colorectal cancer? Joanne Hall. For an approved topic of professional research and development in systematic reviews regarding iron and iron supplementation in blood donors, Graham Smith. <laughs> for the professional doctorate in medical imaging, for an approved topic of professional research and development in measurement of sub, sub, supra spinatus tendon strain ratio with sonolastography, an exploratory study, Chaik Oueve. For the professional doctorate in nursing, for an approved topic of professional research and development in development of a patient reported experience measure in chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, Matthew Hodson. For an approved topic of professional research and development in a lonely endeavor, clinical nurse leadership and the older unpopular patient in community settings, Jacqueline Metcalf. <laughs> For the award of Doctor of Philosophy, for a program of research in sources of uncertainty impacting upon sperm cryopreservation for cancer patients, Che Deering. <laughs> for a program of research in transforming the student's experience in operating department practice, Learning through simulation, Mick Harper. Vice Chancellor, I present to you Joshua Robert to respond to the university on behalf of the graduates. Vice Chancellor, honored friends and family, dearest graduates, welcome to this most celebratory of occasions graduation 2015. Now as graduates on this remarkable day, we have but one simple, though seemingly overlooked, task. We're here to say thank you. Contained within this hall, for many of us, is an accumulation of the most important and significant individuals of the past few years, and with them, perhaps, the greatest of our life experiences to date. And today, thanks to one 
rather fine university, we're allowed to thank each and every one of you. So friends, family, carers, you are the foundations upon which many of us have built our university careers. Whether you've been the bank of mum and dad, I wish, or the shoulder upon which we have occasionally cried. As this occasion so poignantly shows, you are the very best of what we would achieve, could achieve, and so clearly have achieved. So it is with our whole hearts, as you have helped mould these past years, that we thank you. Secondly, though arguably no less importantly, we must thank the great staff of this, our university. Whether administrative, technical, supporting, and of course, academic, each has both nurtured and expanded an immense horde of eager minds. Through the highs and lows of our academic careers, the staff of this university have remained thoughtful and supportive human beings, and that is a feat truly worthy of recognition. There is not a graduate leaving here today a lesser mind, nor indeed a lesser person, thanks to their phenomenal collective labours. As graduates, we stand in evidence of your achievements. And for this, we're extraordinarily indebted and forever thankful. Thirdly, <laughs> sorry. Thirdly, and penultimately, there's a group of individuals who may be unaware they too are deserving of thanks today, the graduates themselves. Through bonds of friendship, camaraderie, and God forbid, academic rivalry, together we have reached this day. Due to the support, inspiration, and respect of our peers, it is highly probable that we owe some debt of appreciation to the graduates next to us. For the best of days and throughout the worst, it is to each and to each other that we must say thank you. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, I would like to direct our gratitude onto an institution and an idea, the University of Portsmouth, without which, <laughs> yeah. without which we would not be present to celebrate and revel in this occasion today. Nor would we now be embracing our new educations with wide eyes towards future hopes, dreams, and aspirations. It has been our honor and our pleasure to have been students here at the University of Portsmouth. It is with that one final time that we say thank you. Thank you, Josh, for that. Now, at this point in the ceremony, it is normal to have our Chancellor of the University, Sandy Toxvig, to give the closing message to all of us here. Uh, but unfortunately, Sandy is unable to be with us in person because she has uh, work commitments that she has to deal with. However, Sandy being Sandy, she would not want to miss being a part of the ceremony. So with the wonders of technology, we still have Sandy with us to give the closing message. So let's hear from Sandy Toxvig. Hello there graduates. you did it! I bet there was many a day you thought you would never get this cap and gown moment, so well done. And how great you all look in your academic dress, and you know, even from here, I can tell, just smelling very faintly of mothballs. Uh, I'm so sorry not to be there with you, and there is a lesson straight away for you. Never work for the BBC, because it gets in the way of having a life. I love graduation, although I have to say I don't mind missing out on some of the more crushing handshakes. Uh, parents, well done you! How proud you must be today, and optimistic about the future. How exciting to see what your youngsters will make of their lives, 
and I suspect you'll have a ringside seat as these days young people hardly ever leave home. Uh, I have a few words of special congratulations. Really well done to any of the more, how can I put this, uh, mature students who decided that age is no barrier to learning. I salute your tenacity. They say wisdom comes with age. In my case, I think age may have come on its own, but I say to all of you that learning is a lifelong process. For the younger ones, I'm jealous of what wonders lie ahead for you, the books you will read, the music you will hear, and the beauty you will see. Having a degree simply shows you know how to think. Now go and use that ability to its fullest extent. Having a university education means you are among the privileged few in the world, and I believe it comes with a responsibility to contribute to your community to the best of your ability. Life is short, trust me, Time spins past you like a whirlwind. You all look so beautiful today, but boys, your hair will go, and girls, you don't want to know what will go. So crack on and don't leave fulfilling your ambitions too late, or you may find you missed the moment. And speaking of moments, try and be of the moment, and by that I mean live in the present. I fully understand the joy of modern technology, but maybe, occasionally, Put down your smartphone. Stop texting people who are not in the room and try enjoying being with the people who actually are. You may surprise yourself and find you even like them. And even more surprisingly, those people may include your parents. My association with Portsmouth is one of the things I am proudest of. And I hope you feel the same. Please don't go away and never return. Join the Alumni Association and know that you will always have a warm welcome here. You are part of the family. And like all good families, we may fight, we may ask you for money, but you will always have a place at the table. Every year we hold a Chancellor's Dinner for students and alumni, and why not decide now to come back next year and join in? It would be lovely to see you. I hope you have the happiest of days, and be nice to whoever is doing the handshaking, because honestly, it can leave bruising. Bye. I want finally to add my congratulations to all of you who have graduated today and also to all of you who have supported our students while they have been studying at the university. I now declare that this congregation is closed. Please be upstanding for the academic procession.